we've been coaching our clients on how to create a content strategy for their brand. There's so many channels out there. There's so many topics. Do you even know when to post, what to post, how to post? And if you want a guide for next year, something to help you get started and something to follow on a consistent basis, this video is for you. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Over the last eight years, I've helped over 5,000 people with their marketing. And if you're new to my channel, please comment new so I can send you our free content calendar where you can actually see what, where we post, how we post, and how many times we post. And you can copy and paste that into your business. So getting started, I want to start with topic number one, where you need to choose your channels. What are those channels where your ideal audience is at? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Twitter? Are they on Pinterest or Google? Where are your audiences? Now, when you're first starting out, you want to choose just two. Maybe if you're an e-commerce business, people are searching on Google for your product. Maybe if you're a local business, people are in Facebook groups recommending your local store. Maybe if you're an entrepreneur, your audience is on Twitter slash X. You know, you really want to think, okay, where's my ideal audience? What are they searching for? When are they searching? And do I want to present my business there at the ideal time when they're searching for that? Now, if you get on the wrong channel and start marketing on the wrong channel, that's where you, when you're going to get yourself in trouble and you're just going to be marketing to the wrong people. If people aren't searching for a local gym on Twitter, you might be in the wrong place or on Pinterest, you're in the wrong place. But we definitely know people are searching for a local gym on Google and maybe in Facebook groups. Topic number two is to research your topics. Just like I'm doing in this video, I know that people search and they need help with their content strategy for their brand. So I'm creating an educational piece of content for you and posting it on YouTube and Google via my blog because I know that's where people want to help with their content strategy. So what are those topics your ideal customers are searching and looking for help, education, or guidance on? Maybe people are searching to lose weight. Do they go to Google to, to lose, search for losing weight? Do they go to Instagram for help losing weight? What about improving my credit? Where would I search for that? I would probably go to Google and say, how do I improve my credit? And then if your blog post and your YouTube video was there helping me, I would be more likely to reach out to you. What about if somebody's looking for more leads? Maybe they're on LinkedIn looking for more leads. So that would be a great place for you to post your educational content to help people get more leads because you know they're on LinkedIn looking for that. And then last but not least, step three is actually create a calendar to stick with. Usually social media and building your brand online takes over six months. For the first six months, you're not going to get a lot of likes. You're not going to get a lot of clicks. You're not going to get most likely a lot of customers. But if you stay consistent and you follow a calendar for over six months, that's when you start seeing great results. So create a calendar. We have one here that you can reference where you want to say, all right, which days can I post? Do you want to post every day? Do you want to post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? And also always consider and show empathy for your clients. When are your clients online? When are your clients searching? What days of the week? What time of the day? Put that in your calendar and stay consistent. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m., I know I'm going to put a YouTube video out and my audience is searching for help with their marketing. Think about your customers. And then think about how many times a week can you post? Should you be posting daily? Should you be posting every other day? It's based on your audience and based on you and your busy schedule. And then the last thing you want to think about is who can help you with this. You're busy running your business. Maybe if you're just starting out, do it on your own. But once you get to a certain benchmark, you can hire virtual assistants to help you with your content. You can give them the topic and you can give them the content calendar and they can basically create the content for you and make sure it gets posted, whether it's manually or using a software like Publer, which we use to post our content via a schedule and calendar. Now, if you need additional help with your content and you want to use the exact content strategy guide we have, please click on the link in the description below. You'll be able to download our free content strategy guide. This is where exactly I show you what I post, how I post, and how often I post on what channels. So if you basically want a cheat sheet for content, grab that guide. I'd be more than happy to help you with that. 
and hopefully you get posting and grow your business online. Thanks again for watching this video and also listening to this podcast. And I will talk to you on the next one.